This video is an introduction to using the PAC Diagnostic Equipment Objects available with StructureWare Skater Expert Visio Cytec 740. I really like the way that the Schneider Electric hardware and software work seamlessly together to provide a feature-rich end-to-end solution. OFS, PAC and Visio Cytec really work well together. The native PAC diagnostic information which I have access to with OFS and Visio Cytec makes it faster and simpler to troubleshoot and manage my PAC hardware. With the streamlined configuration in OFS and the simplified workflow to creating equipment objects in Visio Cytec, it is now faster to engineer my system and get it up and running. By simply starting with your Schneider Electric Process Automation Controller, then adding OFS version 350 or later, and adding Visio Cytec 740 Service Pack 1 or later, you have out-of-the-box PAC Diagnostic Equipment Objects to use in your Visio Cytec project. The first step is to set up a connection to your PAC using OFS. Open the OFS Configuration tool to set up a communication path to a new device. Then enter a name to uniquely identify your PAC. And select to configure the device address. Here I will enter the IP address for an M580 device on my local network. To use the diagnostics, the data dictionary needs to be enabled both in OFS and the pack. Then save the OFS configuration and close the tool. The next step is to set up a Visio Cytec project. I will create a project called M580 and select to use the starter project for the StructureWare widescreen 768 layout. Once it is created, next is to add an entry for the external I.O. device in Visio Cytec. This can be done using the Express Communication Wizard. I will use the existing I.O. server and create a new I.O. device. The new device is an external device that will use OFS as the communication source. Here I will enter the name that was created in the OFS configuration and then finish the setup. The next step is to create the equipment object for the M580 using the equipment editor. A new entry can be added by right clicking on the project name. I will provide a new name and select the predefined M580 equipment type. A tag prefix is required along with selecting the relevant I.O. device. After creating the object, run Update Equipment to automatically build the associated configuration. The next step is to create a new page and add the Equipment Genie. I will use the normal template for the new page. The genies for the packs are included in the Equipment Pack Genie Library. I will use the M580 Device Genie. The genie needs the associated equipment name as well as the IP address to access the inbuilt web pages of the pack. Then the page can be saved into the project. A compiler is performed to verify there are no configuration issues. Now the project can be run to see the results at runtime. In the structure layout, the new page can be accessed by default using the page list menu on the right side panel. The M580 Genie is displayed showing the equipment name and the active alarm count. The alarm border is showing that the pack is either stopped or has an internal error. Clicking on the pack will display the inbuilt diagnostic pages. The first page shows a status summary. The pages are designed to only highlight abnormal operation. The I.O. page shows a detailed view of the communication racks. The app page shows the details of the pack execution cycles. The comms page shows the communication status. The web pages show the hyperlinks to the internal web pages of the pack. The alarm, trend and tag pages provide a detailed view of the diagnostics of the pack.
Here, the M580 is now in the running state. The diagnostic equipment objects are available for all the Schneider Electric packs. The Quantum, the Premium, the M340, and the new M580. For more information on Skater Expert Visio SciTech, please contact your local Schneider Electric representative. For any assistance using the pack diagnostic equipment objects or technical support, please contact your SCADA and MES Global Support representative.